Hey there, I'm Jeff, and I'm talking with Bill Addis from Lamaste Family Yoga Center. And I'm here to talk to you about this makeshift antivirus suit. Now, uh, I do volunteer healthcare work, and there are many healthcare workers who are contracting the the coronavirus because they lack adequate protective gear. And so I've designed this, this uh, makeshift antivirus suit and I'm going to show you how to make it because this will keep the coronavirus from getting to you. And uh, first of all, there's several pieces here. There are rubber rain boots, very important, rubber rain boots and rubber soles, long rubber gloves, a rain poncho with a hood, a shower cap because the coronavirus can get into your hair. So this is a shower cap and the masterpiece of this thing, the piece de resistance, is this shield, the face shield. I show you how to make the face guard. It's very easy and it'll protect you even better than some of these uh, face masks that people are wearing. First you take, a, you find your high school term paper or any legal paper and you get the plastic transparent cover from it. You add two legal clip, paper clips, the kind of clips that they use to clip uh, legal papers together. You put them, you hold it horizontally, and you put it on the sides. You then put a little strip of Velcro to keep the plastic, to keep the uh, clips from, from slipping off. You then take a, some uh, elastic and feed it from one end until the other, and, and behind until you get a good fit. Or you could use a shoelace. If you're in an environment which is a little bit moist or where it's not temperature controlled like a modern hospital, you might have some condensation. In that case, if you have the condensation or the fogginess, you might want to move the head, the face guard forward a little bit to get some air inside. Remove the hood so uh, you, you get some air inside. If it's still that bad, you might have to snip some pieces off of it. But if you're in a modern environment like a, like a temperature controlled hospital, I don't think that will happen. Once you're wearing this rain suit, you then put up the hood. This rain suit, by the way, will cost you $1.99 and you're totally enclosed in a bubble. Now, these straps here on the rain suit, you want to put little toggles on them. I put little, little clips on them to keep it from, a, uh, from riding up. Your, your suit. So now I'm in. A, now I'm in a total bubble here. Let me let me put this inside. And I'm totally protected against the coronavirus. Now, one thing you have to remember: the coronavirus will stick to the plastic. It won't go through, but it's plastic. When you get home, you should have a bucket of water, soapy water, by the door. And you throw everything into it and very gently wash everything. You take a sponge and you very gently wash the face shield. You wash your boots, especially the bottom of the boots. Wash the uh, poncho and wash the uh, shower cap. You got a shower cap here. Put it all in there and wash it. Then have another bucket with the uh, cleaner water. And then uh, hang it up to dry and you're all set. Now, when you're putting on your rubber gloves and your boots so they slip on and off easily, I would suggest that you use some uh, talcum powder. This is the one that the hospitals use. It's called a Columbia, Columbia Antiseptic Powder. This is the one that I would suggest you use. And now, you are fully protected against the coronavirus.